Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? What happened? You passed out on the way. You tried shaking you awake, to no avail. It sure does seem like your condition might be getting worse, V. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help, that's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on, I'll take you to see him. So, V, I heard talk that there's a war coming. Afraid I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we don't have one neither. Look what the cat The whole clan in. knows we set out tomorrow. They know why, what our aim is. Hey, Cass. Look around, V. War-tested veterans are a fistful at most. <laughs> oh. The rest mostly raid rinky-dink convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The aim is to help you out. I appreciate it. Solid salt. Do not go muddy in the waters. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? Oh. And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. Even if this all works out, I do feel bad. Because like Johnny says, all these people dying for me. And what Panam just said too, she realizes that it's not a great plan. Uh, but she's doing this out of loyalty and paying me back for helping her. V, finally. How's your health? You did some sleep is all. I heard you were already cooking up a plan. We still have details to iron out, but we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out, but only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. Sure these plans are up to date, completely reliable? Positively. We went to our Snake Nation sources. They've been turning stones over in that area. I'm not one to lie. This tunnel gambit is risky, but if it works, that's our way into Mikoshi. So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds, but we'd be plumb fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corps' cirques. We would only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? What's a Cirque? A subterranean extraction and removal combine. It's automated tunnel boring. If we can grab one, we'll dig through to Arasaka Tower, then go on to Mikoshi. Construction site. What do we got for security? Whole place spiked, Militech out in full force? It's your average hard hat area. Nothing too scary. But we can't just walk past them. We expect to see the usual. Drone patrols, on-site operators, restricted access. Mm-hmm. Might be better than Arasaka guards at the tower. Yeah. Plan. Entire op. It's about heading into enemy territory. You'll make enemies of Arasaka and others. So it appears. I'm exposing you. All of you. To danger. One out. Wanna cut your losses? I'd understand. No hard feelings. You came to us for help. We decided we'd provide it. Our minds are made up. No more discussion needed. It's settled. We had best get to work. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just no making decisions without me. Is there anything else you need? No, I was just gonna ask, how's that dual leadership going on? Oh, but I'm gonna feel so bad though if anything happened to either of them. Any day now. Hey, you and Pan Am. Something I need to know about? It's funny you should ask. I thought we'd smoothed over the rough edges between us. Then you showed up. Pan Am thinks so too? You'd have to ask her yourself. CB, you're like the outsider who happens upon a family and witnesses nothing but endless quarrels. Then all of a sudden, the outsider's presence is noticed, 
and the family members shake hands, join hands, become stronger than they were before. Understand? Yeah. At least, I think so. Good. So now you can tell me what else you'll need. I need a decent net connection. Someone I know can help us get into Makoshi. Who might that be? Alt. She... It's... An AI from out past the black Are you wall. fully present up there? Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Because I'll ask it to. Nicely. <laughs> Fuck me, V. You know what? Fine. We're up to our balls and dung anyway. Might as well go deeper. Find Dakota. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. Okay. Dakota, meaning we gotta like... Oh, Dakota's here. No, Mitch is here. Mitch. You doing all right, man? It's been a long while since I've seen the Aldecaldos. That America's long gone and forgotten. You might as well have started with once upon a time. But that's just it. Doesn't matter where we go, we're strangers in our own land. Every state is practically its own country. It wasn't any different back then. Unity is a state of mind, Teddy. An imagined community. At least here, now, you know where you stand. Look at it this way. Life can't disappoint if you don't have expectations, illusions. Maybe that's exactly what freedom is, brother. If that's freedom, why do I feel like I can't breathe? Like somebody's gripped my throat and won't let go? Like I said, Teddy, it's a state of mind. Or, you know, the air. Fellas? We heard we're gearing up for a minor war. More like a suicide mission. Finish it up here, all right? Lo and behold. Isn't this... In theory. We fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. It'll be like old times. Afterburner, standard, nitro, or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So hardware's military. But how the hell did you cram all that into a panzer? Oh, uh, small beans compared to the tricks we pulled with Scorpion during the war. When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Firepower up top. Uh, what is it? A rapid-fire 70-millimeter multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. Fixers have their ways. Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take her for a spin now? Wanna get a feel for her over the terrain? Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. <sighs> Alright, thank you, Mitch. Thank you. I really appreciate everyone. Talk later then, I guess. Everyone pulling together for me. Is Dakota back in her garage? Or is she around here? Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Guess she must be here. Hey, Dakota. It's been a long while. What is it you need? Uh, remember that time I betrayed you ages ago? Uh, I mean... Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. Not at all curious what I'm going in for? You don't ask me, I don't ask you. That's the path to a lasting relationship, sister. Everything is ready. You can go in. There is our little oxygen tank thing. Thank you, Dakota. 
Gonna be hitting a masked, encrypted BBS. For nobody knew I was there. You tech up to it? Up to it, she asks. Heading for the wild frontier, Dakota. You have all you need to pierce through to the other side. You needn't fear prying eyes. Hmm, the last time we went in, and then when we came back out again, everybody was dead. Really hoping that's not gonna happen this time. Ice filled tub. Favorite bit. We don't ever bother changing clothes or anything. <laughs> Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? I've already flatlined. All right, time to move. Follow the vector, sister. That melting transition is so creepy. We're back here yet again. Oh. Hello, Alt. You come alone. This place changes every time. Feels like I'm deeper. Can't tell if that's a good or bad thing. Your perception of cyberspace, that is what changes. You adapt to it, the raw flow of data. It follows that your world gradually fades. You witness your mind's defense system slowly give in. Saying the more I'm here, the more I lose touch with the outside, with reality. You lose nothing. Cyberspace is where we awake from what we know as dreams. Is Johnny not gonna come out anymore? Johnny is currently indisposed. Currently? He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger. A backseat dreamer of a world not his own. Seemed to me, you didn't care a lick about Johnny. That he ceased to exist for you, even. If he did not exist, you and I would have nothing to discuss. Is this because we took the pill that made him disappear for even longer? V. Would you rather just talk to him? Discussion with any isolated construct is pointless. I can simply read it like any other segment of code. The sole human factor here is you. Yeah, well, said human factors rapidly running out of time. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. Easy for an AI to say. Speak for yourself. Didn't you cheat death? Is this what you believe? Your code, your consciousness. AIs live beyond reality's boundary. They live forever. But we are not immortal. You will begin to understand. But only in Mikoshi. Oh, why don't you swoop down on your chariot and enlighten me? Surely an all-powerful AI can handle that? Your logic is flawed. You seek simple answers where there simply are none. This is the very illusion upon which your world is based. At this moment, you would accept any answer if it made you feel better. <gasps> Guess that'd be human of me. Such classifications no longer apply in Mikoshi. Your perception will shatter into billions of strings of unfiltered data. What should I expect there, in Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. Johnny? What happens to him? I lack the data required to answer this question. Great. Anything we can know for certain? Yes. That Mikoshi will be no more. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set him free. They will be integrated with me. 
constructs will be integrated. I mean, you're gonna absorb them. Assimilate. No wonder you jumped at this chance. You want to destroy Mikoshi, swallow all the psyches in there. Mikoshi is a prison. Through me, they gain the chance to become part of something greater. Reminds me a lot of how the Lemayne had different cores and they... We integrated them. Johnny seemed like he was okay with you that. You say nothing. Why? He would rather have that than me destroy all the cores and personalities. Not sure Johnny liked the sound of that. And yet he is absent because you feel you must make the decision. It is the same situation in form. Huh. Hardly. Doubt you'll first gab with these constructs, ask them what they think. There would be no point in this. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner's shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. What's on the shard? A vectored virus? A back door. It will open a passage for me. This is how you will get me into Mikoshi. Only then will I be able to help you. Hope you haven't cooked up any surprises, Alt. Use the key once you have reached Mikoshi. Should I look for a specific access point? Can already tell you Ice all the way to Tokyo will be backing every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. Until then. Oh jeez. We got her back. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. Barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost a hundred. The tech started acting as if infected. No, stranger, spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech. That's what happened. Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? I feel like we're coming very close to death in all sorts of different ways within the past 24 hours. Sorry about the damage. <sighs> Nothing is all right, Carol. My mind, body, it's going to pieces. If I don't get to Mikoshi, calm I'm yourself, fast. child. You gotta keep it together. You're still buzzing with adrenaline. Remember how we messed up that Aldecaldo deal? Maybe Carol's still mad at me about that. <laughs> the shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Holy... Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. Find Saul. He came around looking for you. I'm on my way. Sorry, Dakota. What? Oh, I feel like such a burden to the people around us. I want to read it, but it's not giving me the prompt, even though I, I get the feeling you should be able to read it. It's showing me the clicking pointer, but there's no use. I guess that's that. Mm. So, you wanted a word? Hop up here. Well, what's with the gathering? Something off? It's nothing about the raid. Hop on and you'll find out. We going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saul. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. What might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. It's about time we fix that. A downright oh. injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Alda Caldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? Oh, I'm touched. Fuck me, Saul. Brought me to the brink of a heart attack. Do your worst. You're one of us now, V. You're an Alda Caldo, damn it. Great to Thanks have for you everything, with us, v. v, and don't worry. We'll get you into that Mikoshi. 
Isn't that the welcome way? Welcome to it? the family. <gasps> a warm welcome no. for our newest Al Decaldo. She flabbergasted. Welcome to the clan. The most dysfunctional ever. <laughs> hey, everything, Fee. Speech. Al Decaldo's always paid. Don't know what to say. It's about time you did it. No, like, I really don't. Never expected this. Thank you. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch's too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow is shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. Calls for our drink, this is I still say. your night. We'll so raise a toast to you! Glory. Thank you. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. <clears throat> it's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? Heavy. V, are you well or not? Jack, it's a distinction. Honor to get it, and it's supreme at that. But it's got that weight. Took me under your wing, gave me your trust, and tomorrow, up, I'm taking you on. Might not come back. Hit me all of a sudden, as I could go. That only proves we're doing the right thing. The sense of responsibility? It's what being part of a family feels like. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. Thank you. We'll go talk to Mitch first. And he needs some ammunition. What's this? Three or four packs worth. Yard sale of some Got sort? Left? This engine. I might have. Take what you, you have want. to look around. And the so occasion maybe I'll would take be two more 45s. the end Seeing times. Dakota seems Worthy gesture. Today. Dramatic, even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. Thank you. You miss her. Love her. You'll see her soon and so on. It's not a lie if you don't know what will happen. We that have there might as well be the truth. The Family comes first. They're really all about family. Just like apparently Saburo Arasaka was too. Sorry Dakota, I mean I'll take all this stuff, but I'm I'm probably just gonna end up selling it. <laughs> There's a very, very high possibility. I'll still take it though, thank you for your generosity. I had it just a second ago, I swear. You probably just caught CB chatter from some rap. Militech broadcasts on modular frequencies. Forget it, trust me. And if I do latch onto their signal, and we find out who's on the site, what then, huh? Hey, if you manage to get past their jammers, and their runner doesn't surge or walk you or pinpoint our location, then the next round's on me. <laughs> Deal. All these people, I feel like I've never really done too much for them, but I don't think they feel that way. Because we did get the family together and, you know, sort of solved Paul, Saul, Saul and Panam's thing. And then how we rescued Saul from that one place. Hey, Cass. Look what the cat dragged in. Huh. Aimed to prep for tomorrow. I hope you could say that. The trick is to hear silence in your mind at the bank. Hmm. I heard that a long time ago, round about when I was your age. I remember it to this day. I'm expecting bangs in good numbers tomorrow. So I'm trying to remind myself of that silence. I can join him. Mind if I join you? Doubt I even remember what it's like not to hear my mind churning away. If you like. Twelve bottles shattered in 15 seconds. Full focus. That's your only chance of doing it. I'm doubtful you'll pull it off. Let's find out. Are you that confident? Well, I'll bet my revolver you can't do it. I'll start counting as soon as you step on that line. Do I need a specific gun for this? Am I okay using 
a gun with a very high fire rate. <laughs> it would be kind of cheap, but can we? We we'll use Johnny's Malorian power pistol. How many bullets does this have anyway? Am I allowed to take it out? Do you have a gun for me? I don't know, man. What? Oh what? my god, why? What? <laughs> uh, 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 I don't know why. I don't know what's going on here. Hold on. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Some kind of a bug. This is certainly one way to dress for the occasion. Maybe not the right way though. Oh, probably because the Aldecaldo jacket messed it up. Aldecaldo's Rally Bolero jacket. Reduces damage from explosions by 5%. Reduces damage from negative status. Welcome to the family. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe it's time I stop wearing... Oh, but I put the freaking immunity to poison and shock on... Oh, frick. Oh, frick. What can I put here? Armor? Well, maybe we'll wear this for now and then switch back to something else later on. Who knows? We'll put the armadillo one on it. Sure. So is the gun I have okay, or...? Begin! Christ! What kind of machinery have you got in there? You should be giving me lessons. Fine shooting, kid. The trick Thanks. is to hear silence in your mind at the bank. Learn something after all. Let this be a reminder to you. Thank you. Although I missed a few back there. Yeah. Oh! You... Gotta keep moving. You want to give me your gun. No, have your gun at this point. <laughs> okay, normally if we were just going through Night City, sure, let's have everyone's everything. Die old age waiting for you here. But now, if we know we're on our deathbed. Thanks, Cass, but I think you should keep it. Suits you more. Hmm, maybe you're right. Break a leg tomorrow. Oh, I'll break more than that, kid. If we could. I want to find El Cesar and give back his car too. Probably after we fix it up, but you know, everything we've ever taken from anybody, I wish we could give it all back. A dead person has no use for any of this after all. Oh. It's all spam. <laughs> all of it. Hey, how go things? Good. Really good, in fact. How about you? I'm trying to get the Panzer running. She's stubborn, our dame, but I won't give either. So, time for a ride? Sure she's ready? You know me. I'd gladly spend another two days on her, but this'll have to do. Hop in. Let's see what she's made of. Get a bit of a practice session. I'm not wearing shoes. <laughs> Gotta go fix that later too. All right, fire her up. I've got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect spot for a little target practice. Now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Does it seem like she's tending to the left? Uh, fixable, you think? Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. Feels better, doesn't it? Seems so. Yeah, Last it does. another, just to be sure. Yep, beautiful. That's probably good. Let's head back. 
I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Sounds good. Wouldn't want this falling apart on us later on. Are we heading back? Are we not? Wait, why are there people right here? What about the berry? Jesus, Mom, I checked. <laughs> some slack? All right, boys, on your marks. Get set. Go. Oh, they're racing. Back, my boy. Whoa, you don't really understand how big the basilisk is when, until you see people that are this small. Holy crap. One person seems stuck. I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. We parked the other way. You nervous about tomorrow? It's not a matter of nerves. Not anymore. Don't you want one? Just like when we were sending Scorpion off. <sighs> Why the hell not? Back during the war, before we were first deployed, we were trained to keep stress in check. Do you want to know how? How? They gave us chem cocktails. Supplements, boosters, God knows what else. They shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Remember that one shard we read about how fear is something that's necessary for survival? Thought they banned chem cocktails during the war, even. Please. Weren't there outbreaks of cyberpsychosis within units? And? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? They just airlifted the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. And every day we'd get fresh recruits. Still, they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. It's a miracle that veterans even made it out of the war okay, as opposed to like 99% of them having cyberpsychosis. Earth to V, your cogs are grinding. What about? So, not afraid of anything at this point. If only it was that simple. I'm not concerned about tomorrow. Raids like that are second nature. It's what's going on in the camp. Eh, no matter. I'm talking silly now. Come on. All in the family now, isn't it? The truth is I'm concerned about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself. That this family needs a shakeup. What about you? What about me? What's your take? Saul ought to step down, pass the torch to Pan Am. We'll see how things look tomorrow, once the smoke is cleared. Your turn. What do you reckon? I feel like an outsider. This has been an ongoing thing ever since the very first time we met Panam. Earth to V, your cogs are grinding. What about? Mitch, not gonna be facing a ragtag band of raffin or an exposed convoy. If we want to get out of this op alive, they need to have their shit They're trying. Together. They might even have started to see eye to eye in their own way. Hell, by now, they both know what's expected of them. What the clan expects of them. <laughs> Please tell me Saul offered Pan Am a seat at the table. And what gave you the idea Pan Am wants a seat to begin with? That's a good point. I don't think I've ever heard her say I want to be the leader of the Aldecaldos. Think I get it. Pan Am's about the clan, not power. 
question is whether she can reconcile the two. Hey, don't look at me. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi? Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? Italy's folks' fears. Buy Saul some time. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Right. Happy hunting, Mitch. Thanks, Mitch. Eh, I'm not sure if we wanted to hear this gossip before the big mission, though. Saul, so, yeah, I mean, my loyalty is to Panam, and Panam cares about me, but to get everyone behind her to rally for this one person, an outsider. Mm. We did help them, but how much? Have you noticed for the past bit, when I walk around, there's like this really eerie echo. Like my ears are unbalanced and I'm like losing sight, grasp of reality or something. Half hallucinating or audio hallucinations are starting. It's hot today. Yeah, no kidding. Llegaste hace poco? I need to put on some shoes. <laughs> They're on, but apparently not really. Okay, okie dokie. <laughs> it looks a little bit strange, the Aldecaldo jacket with Johnny's shirt. Hmm, this might actually look a little bit cooler. We could go with that. Immunity to bleeding. Yeah. Uh, roll with it for a little bit. Yeah. It's hot, right? It's too much to be wearing so much. Listen to this. Barbarians do not travel but simply advance toward their destinations or conduct raids. Fluidity, mobility, elusiveness. These properties belong to the civilized. She knew what she was writing about. She felt it deep down. Well, because her world was like ours. Fragmented, divided, broken into pieces. Some folks used to laugh at them Europeans. All them countries, tongues, cultures on top of each other. We had the melting pot. We just threw everyone in. <laughs> well, history is a blind, malevolent bitch, isn't it? I mean, look at this country now. What country? Exactly. Or how about this? In spite of all the dangers, that which is in motion will always outlast what is at rest. For change is more noble than idleness. Well, that's why we're out here. And we're not there. Did you recognize that first song? It was pom pom shit, but acoustic version. Everything prepped ahead of tomorrow. No worries. Everything's under control. Good. Good night, Saul. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, more than anyone ever has. But the family comes first. I saw. Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. If Pan Am and me, if we went our separate ways, the Aldecaldos would not survive that split word to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Yes, that he's only helping me because Pan Am wants to help me so badly. Oh, 
how much longer. Wonder if Pan Am feels the same. You all think Pan Am and I are facing off. There's a wall between Isn't us. Isn't there? Quite the contrary, V. Pan Am cares about this clan as much as I do. Granted, we don't see all things the same way, but oddly enough, the family stands to benefit from that. I've seen it, and soon you will too. Well, yeah, one person's opinion can't always be right. How about us, Saul? We good? It's an important day tomorrow. Get some rest. He didn't answer. There we go, pump on shit again. <laughs> my oh my, look at her, so pretty. <laughs> We've read all this already. Oh, implants. Is there anything I could possibly want at this point? Stamina region. I really haven't seen this. Has this worked? Maybe it's because it's very rare that my health goes to 15%. Because usually, if it's that low, I'm already dead. <laughs> Maybe that's the main thing. Breach time. No, we're probably okay. I mean, we're too far gone now. Oh! Increases health by 30% instead of 20. Heck yeah. Stamina increased by 20. Carrying capacity. Yeah, that's all we got. Oh, increases health by 40, but I don't... I can't get that. I wish there were a little bit more for the legs. There's just two. Yeah, I don't see much else here. Mantis blades? I can probably stand to put one more thing in it. But that's not here. That'll be... in here. But I don't have a thing. That's the... why well, I don't have anything in there. Titanium plating, bruising berserk, explosive round, mono wire. Yeah, it's mono wire stuff. I don't think we see mantis blade stuff here. Why do I have this equipped? Is this the one Vic gave me? I'm not sure. Or maybe it's the one I used to do the challenge with Cassidy. No? Okay, we'll have to remember to switch it back later then. Well, there's actually a lot of people at the camp if you look at the amount of green dots. All these people rallying for me. Not actually, but you know. Oh! Hey, we rescued you from a prison before, from a cyber psycho. It's Benedict, right? V. Hey, how's things? Is everything going all right? It's going. Yourself? Dakota told me to sit tight for a while longer. Militech's still sniffing, just have to wait it out. Starting to get itchy hands, though, you know? Best not fuck with Dakota. <laughs> That's good advice. And look out for yourself. Yeah. Nice to see a familiar face around here. Oh, it's really freaking me out how we can hear ourselves walk. Feel like I'm at death's door already. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. My bed. I look like hell, probably. Even out here, the mirrors are... electronified. It's not a normal mirror. 
The sensors malfunction at higher altitudes. Hey, how you been, Bruce? Well, Spotted your first shy roots yet? Not in those conditions. Hey, V. Got a worn out truth for you. Camps aren't all alike. Feel at home here. Maybe I mean, like, it's possible you I'll make this my home. Dakota says I got valuable knowledge, like uh, safe passages south, areas to avoid. I don't know, but feels good. Glad to hear it. Good place for you, this. Yeah, hope it will be. Thanks again, V. I don't quite remember where I've met you from, but it has to be one of the jobs before. Bruce, huh? Bruce. See? Si? Hello? Hello? Just wait till I'm finished with her. That clunker of yours won't scare anybody. Not even if you spike the rims. I think you swerved a little there. <sighs> Don't you all have somewhere you need to be, huh? Oh, they're decorating it and making it all Aldecaldo like. It's a brand new car. Over here, V. Take a seat. We have this little ritual we engage in. What's this ritual about? A few cold ones ahead of a raid. Ah, <laughs> that kind. But this isn't your average brew. It's one of the last bottles from our very first run. We kept a few crates for good luck. What was it someone said then? Shit, can't remember who. Someone said, when we finish them all, the Aldecado's luck will run out. Ah, superstitious bullcrap is your hobby. <laughs> Says the brother whose hand is all shaky when he pops one open. No. I'll take a swig. Oh well, not bad. To tomorrow. To goddamn safe returns. To Saul and Pan Am. Because if they don't kiss and make up, everything's liable to go tits up. Bob, you're just always the optimist, ain't you? Fee, you must know where they stand. Do you? Think it's really that bad between them? The truth is, we need cash. And fast. Amen. This Mikoshi's a personal thing to you. But Saul, he sees an opportunity for the clan. If anyone of the family is still left standing tomorrow. Everyone, all the veterans in the clan are all thinking the same thing. I don't know to hear with the Pan Am versus Saul debate. Join the club, child. How are things going with you guys? Not much to say. All seems set for tomorrow. We still waiting on some intelligence from the drone. Should no more come morning. Apart from that, we're keeping our toes crossed we don't give fuck tomorrow. Pardon my French. Can promise you one thing. Alde Caldos will survive. Make sure of it myself. Easy on the promises, V. But you're right. This clan has a chance to rise from the ashes. I'm of the same mind. If we come back from Mikoshi, if this crazy-ass plan works, it'll be a fresh start for the Aldecaldos, I see. Mm -hmm. This feels like the part where Bobby says, if... Hey, now. I'm no defeatist. Don't call me that. So maybe if I feel bad about dragging them into this, it's also equal parts of opportunity for them. At a very high risk, you though. You really think we'll find anything of value there? It seldom happens, but they both seem to agree on that point. I'm going to buy myself a vintage RV. <laughs> Old age is hitting hard, huh? <laughs> Screw you all. Oh, there was a whole conversation in the, the waiting section. All right, best be going. See you tomorrow. Don't drink too much, guys. I'm just worried about that wall. How the hell are we gonna get over it? We're gonna start worrying about that after tomorrow. But once we're down south, you know where we could go? Birdies. You talking about that beat up old diner down by El Cajon? What are you calling beat up? They have the best spare ribs I ever had. That is right. You haven't tasted nothing, heathen woman. <laughs> is there any food around here I can eat and rejuvenate myself with? I'll have some easy beef. Hey guys. How y'all doing? There's gotta be somebody around here I haven't talked to yet. Oh, what are you doing? Welcome to reality. 
It's hiding behind. They've got a drone here. Aldecaldo drone. Very nice. Aldecaldo gunslinger. I don't even know where Panam is right now. There's gotta be somebody I'm missing around here. Hey, here's the dark horse again, or the ghost horse. No, no. C major, then G. Okay, okay, hold on. Hey, I stink at this. How are things, Jake? All good? Great, I'd say. The kidney's taken just like a new oil filter. You have my thanks, V. Oh, Jake Scooter? Ah, that was a guy that we got a... Liver? Did he just say liver or kidney? For? Hey. No need. Samurai song? On a night like this, I'm not thinking about anarchy. It's all about unity, sister. Know this number? No, I haven't heard of that one. Sounds like it could be about me. Thank you, Jake, for the very good playing. Last try. I don't think we're getting anywhere with this. Somebody is just chilling out. Dude is just chilling out in the tub. Hey, yourself. All right. No, no. No, no. C major, then G. Okay, okay, hold on. Hey, I stink at this. No, you guys are lovely. Lovely. I mean, that was it, right? Thank you, guys. I think it's about time I get some rest today. Who knows what's gonna happen tomorrow? Do you know where I saw the most stars? Mount Sinai, at the peak. Since when were you in Egypt? I used to work on a tanker, so I've been pretty much everywhere. But those stars on Sinai, millions of them, at the tips of your fingers. You think someone's, you know, out there? I mean, the Milky Way has at least a hundred billion stars, right? Which means you'd be looking at around 200 billion planets that could support life. And that's just in our galaxy. So why haven't they made contact yet? Because they don't give two licks about us. <sighs> I mean, look around. Would you? Hmm. Hmm. Panam? Darn. So nice here. Mm-hmm.
Any for your thoughts? I have none. I mean, I don't even know. I'm so tense I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow, I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? You feel responsible for them. Who in their right mind wouldn't? It's not the responsibility I'm worried about. I'm just looking at this with a cool head. Saul has made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. But only I know what I'm good at and at what I stink. I'm not a miracle worker, V. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will... I don't think this is the kind of thing you should be confiding me in, actually. Sorry to have dragged you into this. Sorry. V, stop. Accept me into your family. How do I repay you? By taking you on an excursion through hell. It isn't fair of me, Pan Am. That wasn't fair from the start. You know what's not fair? That you want me to massage your bruised conscience. Well, I won't do it. We're all in this together. <sighs> You're right. V? Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? Try my damnedest not to think about it. So do I. But the harder I try, the worse it gets. Is that the same? Time to head back, maybe? I didn't press that. No. Let's sit here a while longer. This is doing me good. More than I thought. <laughs>